Hello, welcome to today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is, We Will Win. Every day, we must prepare ourselves to face battles that we face in our daily lives. It's more important that we prepare our families to deal with the stressors of life, or else your family can be destroyed by just any old thing that can come to play against your family. Be prepared to win as a family. We must show our families the leadership it takes to not run from the battles that we will face in life. The Lord spoke to Joshua about leading his people after Moses died. Joshua 1, 7-9 reads, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and very courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Tell your family that they need to look to God for the strength they need to fight the battles that they may face. It's up to us to let our family know that God loves them. Tell them how God's love would never fail them, regardless of the perils they face. But first, you must believe that yourself. You can't lead someone to something that you're not familiar with yourself. Romans 8, 38-39 reads, And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord. There's a song by Vincent Bohannon and the Sounds of Victory called We Will Win. Lyrics of the song go, We will fight and we will win. We speak victory in every trial we're in. We are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb. No longer defeated, we're winners now. We always win. We always win. You must have that faith to know that with God, you will always win. But you have to be patient and understand that things don't happen in the time that we expect them to happen. In order to win, we must know what we're fighting for and what we're fighting against. T.D. Jakes once said that the man who gets up every day knowing who he is battling is a man who can fight with purpose and intelligence and direction. In order to win, you must know that God is your source of your life and that you have an enemy to your eternal spirit, and that God, your source, will help you defeat your enemy. 1 John 5, 4-5 reads, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? You must get strength from God and be willing to step forward and fight. T.D. Jake said, don't expect God to speak up for you or cause others to see you for who you really are until you are willing to step into the place where God has called you to be. Philippians 4 and 13 reads, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. One way to start winning is to change the way you think and talk about your problems. If you start talking about things boldly that you're going to overcome these things and get through those things and you have trust in God that these things will work, 
your change will begin to happen. If you think that you're uh, defeated and you talk like you're defeated, guess what? You're going to find yourself defeated and oftentimes defeated again and again because you spoke that defeat into your life instead of having confidence that God will bless you. If you face your problems boldly as if you know God's going to help you and God's going to make that change for you, trust me when I say that you will see some change. Oftentimes the change is within. Your change in perspective of your problem will sometimes be the start of your coming out of that problem. Luke 18 and 27 reads, But he said, What is impossible with men is possible with God. Put your faith in God and not in your own abilities or in the connections you made with others. Once you do that, you we all will win because we all can help one another get through problems and to overcome our problems. But we all must be willing to fight together. You must be willing to work with your family so you can fight through your problems. But keep in mind, God's timing is not our timing, so keep up the good fight. And with that, be blessed. Thank you.